So, you want to find out how to make money from sports betting and become arrogant? Maybe you are at the right place. Maybe. Are you ready? Rules. You have to commit to the rules. That's all, folks. Okay, maybe it seems obvious, but let me elaborate on this bit more. You have to play by the rules. Betting can be a journey to some better place. Otherwise, it's gambling. Soon you'll find yourself typing in Google how to prevent hair loss or why I have a lump on my neck. Try to play by the rules and make your betting stress free. Don't let betting consume you. Don't let it control your life, your mood. You can never win as much as you can lose. Let me introduce myself. 23 years of betting, had some good payouts, master degree in economics, banker. So maybe, just maybe, I could be more right than those kids on internet who don't know how to calculate, but yet you are paying membership fees to their tips. Or all those ladies with nice eyes, nice eyes. In their life, closest thing to betting was playing slots. So try to follow someone who paid that expensive school called betting and was a good student. You probably won't listen to someone about war if he was never in one. And betting can be like war and you can lose everything. Before I tell you my first and most important rule, I will reveal you maybe second most important. You have to stick to the law of large numbers. Let me explain it through a couple of stories. Once I was sitting with my friend in some fancy place, like we betters do, and was making my betting slip, I went with my 10-11 players under, and while I was putting my last one that was needed so payout could be 100k, my friend was like, bro, go with this player, not that one, trust me. I was like, what the heck, I will miss many of them, won't depend on that one. 10 hours later, I was waiting just that he didn't score until 4th quarter, when he went crazy, scored 15 points, 1 point higher than my totals. Funny thing, funny now in those days, it wasn't funny at all. Only player that my friend picked and was 6th player on his team and should come out in the middle of 4th quarter, but was his birthday and coach left him to the end, and that I wanted to put in betting slip, that one was easily under. Another funny story, here I am in betting shop, making my bet slip, after 7-8 my players, for under, I saw that Bookie made a mistake in totals, for one player, normal total points should be 26.5, offered were 13.5, at same odds, what the heck I will use this gift and go over, 10 hours later, that player was only one who prevented me to cash out 10k, 12 points in first half, missed everything in second, scored 13 points in total, and it was only time when that batting shop made mistake on totals. How to explain all of this? No luck? God punished me for those who are believers. I believe that luck is very important. What can you do with your good health if you don't have luck and get struck by lightning? And what if I told you that my friend won 23,000 euros with stake of 20 euros just one month after I teach him how to bet like I do? And when I called him to play pick up basketball with me, his answer was Bro, I don't even know the rules. Maybe it's best you to go and check out what Carl Jung had to say on synchronicity. Maybe he had some answers. As for me, I didn't stick to the rules. When you stick to the rules, money will come and you don't wait to find out are you lucky one or jinxed one. In these two cases, I didn't obey the law of large numbers. To paraphrase it, repetition of something will make it happen. First case. I play high total thunder and have some group of players. That was player who wasn't in my group with medium total points offered. Second case, I always play under, no matter what. That was over 110,000 euros gone with the wind because I didn't stick to the plan. So I always bet on under and wait my time to come. And I can always pick a couple of players to get my money back or reinvest in budget. And my winning ratio is better than those guys who are spending their time on thinking is it going to be over or under, is it going to win or lose, etc. Let me show you my betting results in the last week. And for my taste, it was bad run.
Did you notice something? All of them were two-way bets. Try to stick to the two-way bets. Even though bookmakers make odds to have initial advantage, in this case 1.85 or minus 117 in American odds. So they are forcing you to win in 54% of your bets just to break even. And odds should be 2 or 100 in American odds. Why? Infinite repetition and half will go over, half under. As for over under, my final score was better than 54%. And always stick to the higher odds, so progression can come to your help. I'm reading all the time guys commenting how they made money from betting on low odds with flat stakes. It's not logical. First of all, low odds are even lower than they should be. So you have to win 7 or 8 times in a row just to break even. And real probability is that one loss will come on 5 or 6 bets. Second of all, do you really want to lose your hair because of 10 or 50% profit on one bet? I know a guy who had couple losses in a row. He was so down after that and never recovered. So it's not smart at all. But you know, idiots also love to bet. So let's see my final results in this week. If I was betting only on singles, I made small profit. If I had only bet slips, then my final result was and I did it stress free because of first most important rule, capital management. Your stakes must be small part of budget determined for betting. Because with large stakes you lose your money, no matter how lucky you are, good fortune will desert you. And zero is only value that you can't use to win. Multiply zero with thousand, still zero. My budget for last week was 500 euros. My bets were 2% of my bank. That's why my stake on those high odds was also 10 euros. Because I didn't care, I left a lot in a reserve to bet again. Normally you go with smaller stakes on that odds. How can you increase your betting units to win more money? By adding your winnings to your betting budget. Bigger budget, bigger stakes. These are my tips for now. Maybe I will share with you many other things if our community grows. If you have some extra money, you have to invest it. Banks and interest rates of few percent don't even fight inflation. So maybe betting is not bad if you know what are you doing. I totally don't expect you to subscribe, but would be nice and motivate me. Also I expect comments of some smart arses who think they know better. Maybe they do. After 23 years, I am still learning. Good luck. We all need it.